final follow-up on uh, my last video where I messed up the steps and I couldn't identify 23-1A in the instruction booklet it shows that that part on the top of that one placard is marked 23-1A. So had I looked at this in the booklet I would not have had any problems. One area I want to make sure I get right is all the walnut planking and there are different groups. They are grouped together but you're going to have to or I'm going to have to figure out which one is which. There are thicker ones that I know are not going to be used for planking. I'm guessing these are rails and different things that go around the ship. So there's two different groups of those and they're uh, a little bit different sized. There were two planks different than any other sizes. I haven't figured out what they're for yet and they were kind of mixed in with uh, some of the others so it may just be some overrun. So I'll save those. Then for planking the deck and the hull, the outer skins, there are two groups and obviously the larger would be for the hull of the ship. This is the one for the deck. It says there's 70 and um, I counted there's actually 80 some, 83 I think. I scrapped the idea on using the thread thanks to viewer Mike Mika. I'm not sure on the pronunciation of the last name but Mike suggested that I take a permanent marker and just go along the edge and give myself a nice black edge. I've been working at it for a while. It is working. I'm, I'm happy with it. There's some imperfections but I think that's exactly what I'm looking for. Now at first I tried to take the marker and like run along the edge. There was no way. So I've hooked it onto my vise and now I do one edge. I do the ends and then I can simply pull it through. It does give me that look of tar between each plank. I'll keep working on them. I have all of the ones to do for the deck of the ship and then I'll also have to do it for all of the planking for the hull. So I've got a lot of work in store. I'm transitioning from slide 134 and, and pretty much getting that uh, upper deck ready and in place and there's a lot of implications that I should be doing the planking but I just kind of stopped myself and you can see there's even planking done all through here even on the exterior of the ship but turning ahead I get to this area and this is actually upside down. Uh, it's this part of the ship. It seems to me that these supports should be put in place. Maybe this section here which it's illustrated as K1 through K3. It kind of shows some of the planking done and then if you catch down here so this is actually this step is way ahead of this one because this adds K1 through 3 plus M15 so I have built this with M15 on it I put these in place because I think this should happen before any of these planks should be done So we'll see if I'm right. So I've glued these ribs in place. This is not glued in place. But you can see it fits in there. Talks a lot about then polishing this at this angle. This is angled up. I don't think you can see it that well. And it says to polish it. So I'm guessing take off those edges. But I'll research that a little bit more before I do it. It just seems to me it would be easier if I bring the planks out and then put this piece on because then I don't have to worry about fitting it in there. 
So I think that's what the indications lead me to believe. Go ahead and plank this deck. I think I have wrapped around my head how I'm going to proceed in this area. So these K pieces, 1 through 3, and then M15, which is more of a walnut cap that goes on top of it. So you make this. Then you've got these put in place, and there's a part P5. That's this. It's a cover, and if Every time I look at it, this, this little cover, P5, matches up with everything on the ship itself. This will all be the same height, polished off. So notice the M15 at the top, matching at the top. So this may take some sanding. Here's another indicator on that P5, pretty much matching up and being smooth. It does talk about it being bowed a little bit and at an angle, so that's fine. Now I notice there is a little niche here, and there's one over here, so that may bear some more investigation on my part before I actually fill that in. Because there is a, another brace that goes on this that has to do with supporting the captain's quarters up above. So, so for now, that's what it's going to look like. I finished with planking the uh, main deck. I've also given it one coat of tongue oil and I'm doing the deck just its natural color. I burned these in with a, um, oh, a wood burning tool but I actually heated it up even more with a blowtorch so I could burn them in. That may not be for everyone. You may want to just leave them as long as possible or actually cut them. A few of them are cut because it's not long enough to go the entire length in some spots. But I decided to go the easy route and just kind of burned in some individual board looks. And you also plank the, the front end of the ship, that small deck there. That's done. You want to make sure you leave these two little squares open because there's something that fits down in there so you don't plank over those. Now I'm deciding when to put this skin on and it is matching up nicely. You can see I've laid out these plywood pieces. They go all the way across to support this and then I'm sure it's going to end up being planked on both sides. I'm just trying to decide do I want to glue them in first or after I put this on and I think I'm leaning towards after. It goes in between each of these supports across the way all the way down the ship. So it's time to make a decision and I think I'm going to glue the skin on first, attach it to just the support posts and then come back and put these in place. One small mention on these supports that will go in here to support this outer skin. It does require you cut a little notch in the decking. You can kind of see the little notch that I cut out there. And that's true on both sides. In a closing summary of segment 8, this is the things that I've decided to do. I went ahead and sanded the lower part of this so it would fit and be pretty much level with this angle here. All the way across. I've got a little more work in here as far as sanding because I want that tailpiece to all match up pretty well all the way across the back. The other decision I made is any of these support pieces that raised above this uh, skin that I put on, it's the real thin skin that glues on the outside, that's where I decided to sand that off. So I've done that, at least roughed it in. And then on the far side you can see I put those support pieces in. They're glued, they just haven't set up. I want to let them set up for probably 24 hours. On the front, this outer skin was raised higher than the deck on this side, but it was pretty level on the opposite side. So what I did is I cut this down to be flush with the top of the deck. I think I can work better with it in that position. 
I think that's going to be it for segment eight. I've got uh, those skins in place. As you can see, I stain a lot of the things, and that's just if there's a gap anywhere on anything, it doesn't show through light. Now, obviously, that spot right there has not been stained, but you understand what I'm saying. And I'll probably go through and just stain some of this lightly. I say lightly, I'm going to use dark stain on all the rest of the ship. So any of the, the side rails, any railing, any more planking that's on the outside of the ship will all be done in a very dark red mahogany and I will continue to stain it until it's so dark that it almost looks black. So that's where we are, the end of segment eight. It's coming together pretty well. And as I always say at the end of a segment, thanks for watching.